Bryant is Mr. Laker, right? He is the embodiment of generations of Lakers and will be the embodiment for many years to come, right? Many of us grew up and like that was our Jordan, right? Like me, I was born in 91. I got to see, you know, sort of the tail end of Jordan. Uh, I was a student of the sport, so you know, I'm very familiar with Jordan. But Kobe was coming in to the game when I really started to grasp and understand and reach the age of, you know, real understanding of the game of basketball and real love and compassion, right? Before that, of course, you know, I was, you know, stomping on the ground as a little little kid, you know, throwing my fists in the air, you know, when Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan were losing games and whatnot, and then just ended up finding Kobe Bryant and falling in love with the Lakers and being somebody that was grew that grew up in Los Angeles, you know, really having that attachment. And then I came into just growing into the game of basketball and playing the game myself. You know, obviously not to that level, but you know, still just falling in love with the sport, falling in love with just everything about it. And Kobe was the idol, right? He was the standard. He was the hard-nosed, tough guy, but just ridiculously competitive nature and just ruthless, right? Like, if you're in front of me, you are getting taken down. And winning all those championships and getting to experience that and celebrate and just have those joyous moments and memories, it's something that will live with me and many of you Laker fans forever, right? We'll always have those memories to cherish. And it's really unfortunate what happened to Kobe Bryant, right? Because we were all so excited to see what was his life after basketball. And it looked like he was winning at that too. And just translating that competitive drive and just determination and hard nose, no nonsense to the the business world and you know venture capitalists and all that. It was, you knew he was gonna be ridiculously successful. And it's unfortunate that we weren't able to see the the side that we started to get to see of Kobe Bryant, not just business Kobe, right, but family Kobe and educational Kobe, right? The one that was handing it down to the next generations and his daughters, you know, and, and Gigi and just all the tragedy that just surrounded that, you know, and to to lose a child and an idol in, in the same moment. You know, it was devastating for everybody, you know, and Kobe Bryant will live on forever, right? His legacy will precede him undoubtedly. You know, he will always be the greatest Laker ever, and there's never going to be that that varying way from any type of Laker fans, right? And even as generations come on, Kobe will live through us, right? And generations before us and the generations after us. Because we'll tell, you got to watch this. Oh, man, Kobe, you don't know who Kobe... Hey, come here. Come here, young buck. Let me show you. Let me teach you something, right? And that's the beauty. But one of the big questions was, when were the Lakers going to cement it? Right? When were the Lakers going to finally put that statue that is long overdue in front of Crypto.com, right? And now we have an official deadline, uh, and we know when that statue is going to be. So, the promised Kobe Bryant statue outside LA's Crypto.com Arena will incorporate his daughter Gigi, which I love. I think that is beautiful. It's something that I, I really believe that they have to do. And in a nod to his jersey number 8 and 24, it will be unveiled by the Lakers on August 8th, 2024, an insider source has told the Daily Mail. Uh, so following the, you know, 824, you got August, you know, which is 8, so you got 8, 8, 24. I think that that's just awesome. I love that they're going to incorporate Gigi and allow her to live on uh, and her legacy for the time that she was here. I, I do. I think that that's an absolutely beautiful thing. And then Lakers owner Jeannie Buss previously revealed plans to erect a statue for Bryant after he, his 13-year-old daughter Gigi, six friends, and a pilot died in a helicopter crash in January of 2020. The source tells Daily Mail that Bryant's widow, uh, Vanessa, is involved with the plans, but cautioned that an artist for the piece has not yet been chosen. Now, again, I I'm pumped. 
I am excited. Uh, we're going into the Kobe year, right? And Lakers, Lakers got to win this championship, right? I might actually do a video just dedicated to that because uh, that's a talking point in and of itself, right? 2020, Lakers win. 2024 is the Kobe year. They're going to get a new statue. I'm just saying, sometimes things work out that way, right? But nonetheless, this is something that, again, is long overdue, something that we absolutely need uh, to, to see. Can't wait to go and visit it and see the statue and maybe we'll do like a live stream or something like that um when the you know statue is unveiled or uh shortly after or something i'll see when i can get out there and try to make that happen that'd be pretty cool right but nonetheless i i'm excited to see what it's incorporated as like what is is it just like you know kobe and his daughter holding hands like how are they going to approach that right because that's something that you really only get one shot at and the fact that they haven't chosen artists yet I'm totally okay with that. Take your time. Find the proper artist. You know, let's not do... What was the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo statue? If you ever saw that? I, I, I believe it was just like a joke one. But still, like the last thing we need is something like that. No, you need somebody that can really bring out just the essence and embodiment of what that is supposed to represent. You need to be able to really capture that. And the last thing you want is somebody that just gives you a lackluster type of just sculpture, right? Also, take your time in planning what you want it to be, what it should look like, how it should look. I love that Vanessa is helping in that process because what that does is that ensures that we're going to get that version of Kobe. You know, because of course we want to see... We want to see Kobe, you know, with this patent fade away or, you know, the image that you have on screen right now, Kobe just going up and dunking or, you know, some spectacular pose or something. But if you're going to do it with his daughter, I think you need to have something that embodies not only the basketball player Kobe, but also the family man, the loving father, the all versions of Kobe Bryant that we got to see. Right, like I really think that you need to show and really capture not just the ferocious Kobe Bryant take you down. You do not want to be having the Black Mamba staring you down. Like that's the last thing you want. It's over for you. Like you don't. Like yes, we want that, but I love the idea of incorporating his daughter. I think you need to capture both, and that may be a very difficult thing to do right? Maybe it's something of like both Kobe and Gigi both doing the kind of patent fadeaway. Like that would be kind of cool. Kind of like captures the essence of Kobe, but also like, you know, the father, daughter, right? Girl, dad type thing. And look, as somebody that is a girl, dad, you know, it, 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 it hits home. You know what I mean? It's something that really is, um, you know, it's just tragic and every father's worst fear. You know, um, but to have something that symbol be outside of crypto arena, it has to be done right. That's something you cannot botch. That is something you cannot have be a letdown or something that you like. I love the deadline and I love that, you know, it's 8, 8, 24, right? Beautiful. Awesome. I love that. But. I want more than anything than just like using the numerical thing to kind of like, oh, it's cool. It's like Kobe day, Kobe year. Again, I love it. If they can make that happen, I am all for that. Let's do that. But I care more about the actual art being what it needs to be. And the art actually getting in, getting across what needs to be portrayed. Right. Last thing you want again is to rush that. But Again, Kobe Bryant, statue, no statue. Obviously, we need and want a statue. He's he's forever cemented. He's cemented in his DNA, is in, interwoven in the NBA, basketball culture, just fandom, everything. Right? I mean, he is beloved in so many ways. You know, and it's not even about like who's the greatest or who's this or who's that. 
there is undeniable Kobe was a different animal. His work ethic, his drive, everything was just, it was unlike anybody else. I mean, that that's Jordan, that's anybody. I mean, his just sickening, <laughs> just determination was very admirable and was something that we could all take. Like Kobe really instilled a lot that you can really take away. And I really did enjoy and loved. And again, it's another huge thing that is really just disappointing and and saddening that we're not going to get to continue to experience is that he went into the almost like dad mode, but for generations, right? Doing the children's books, teaching us about the ins and outs of business, the game of basketball, his approach to just life, right? Like he really opened up and that hard, tough shell that was just unbreakable, you just saw dissipate and you saw Kobe become something that at first was like, who is this? Wait a minute, time out, time out, right? And it was even like a running joke that like even other players and stuff would say like, this Kobe, man, like, this is, this is weird, right? Like, it's just because we're so used to that just, I am going, I, I, one of us is dying tonight. Like, how, we, it, it's not going to be me, right? Like, that relentlessness, and you love that about him. But then to see, like, oh, no, he is, that he can be that kind of heartwarming, just inspirational, just family man and you know and he gave us a peek behind the curtain it's probably the best way to put it right and to get that peek behind the curtain I think was really special and it's even more special because of how the end result ended right because it makes those things more cherishable those moments more significant more important and you know it's it's a silly thing to say but it is so like Kobe was, the way Kobe passed, it was, even to this day, almost seems like it was fake. Like, we're all waiting for Kobe to come through the door and just be like, ah, I gotcha, right? Like, and, and it's just, because it's almost like he was too big to go out that way. You know, again, as silly as that sounds, it was almost, he, he was, he was just so, just massive. And for him to to go out the way that he went, it was, it really was. It was just like, nah, like, no, like guys like Kobe live to be 110 and (laughs) they're writing history books about it. And like, like what? No, come on, stop. Right. And it's just like, no, like that really happened. And it's just, it's crazy. It really is. Like even to this day, it's, uh, it's odd not seeing Kobe sit courtside for Laker games. It's odd not seeing those interviews. It's odd not seeing him and Gigi just taking over women's basketball, right? Like, all of those things, I think, are just, it's, it is. It's just crazy. But anyway, as always, I uh, pass a question on you guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Please, I would, uh, I'd love to hear kind of your Kobe memories and just stories and stuff, like, down in the comments. Um... I uh, I think that that would be something that that would be special, um, and I I actually have a a pretty interesting Kobe story that uh, I'll have to share one day. Maybe I'll I'll dedicate a full video to it. Um, it's nothing like crazy or anything like that, but it was just cool. It was a time that I got to meet Kobe, and uh, yeah. Anyway, love to hear your stories. Let me know your thoughts on the statue. However you feel, let me know down in the comments.